Okay, boys and girls, uh, sad and unhealthy Lux, take two. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so let's move, that's my fire can, that's nothing to do with this gun. So, I'm looking at ways to sort this out, but um, there's something else I've just noticed about your piston. Now, when this piston is in your gun and it's reciprocating, and it reciprocates uh, a fair few miles an hour, it's not a slow item. You know, you've got 3,000 psi being jammed up your arse, so you're going to move fairly quick. Or, as I'm sure so many will be point out now, oh, it would only be at the regulator pressure come here, that's on the bottle. Okay, so let's say 800 or 400 psi. There's a little o-ring, um, there's a little seal on the end of here that absolutely must totally always be locked in place. This is the maker and the breaker of your whole gun. And uh, I've noticed with your one, it's duff. Which is weird, because you've also got the gold spring. Now, gold spring is something that I would automatically change uh, uh, the Millennium. You'd come along to our um, Lux booth. Well, not anymore, because I don't run it anymore. I don't know who's running it now, but they should be picking up on this stuff. Um, originally the Lux would have a black or a silver spring in uh, we would change them out for these gold springs which is weird now there is a chance you could have had this gold spring from the word get go so we don't know but another thing I would also check is the security of your little seal watch in uh, uh, uh. and it just fell out it just fell out the actual seal just fell out now the new seals and pistons, especially my ones, my uh, pistons, they have a little, um, there's a little shoulder machined in the top, and the actual seal itself has got a little abutment, a little shoulder that you have to press fit into here to lock it into place. So, if I show you one of these uh, matched ones, I can't push that out, that's absolutely solid. I don't want to push it too hard because my Allen key will actually go through the centre of the seal and tear it. So, um, that's another bit of a mystery from your gun. Now, um, what I'm planning to do is take this into work, pop this in the uh, lathe. I'm going to see if I can polish this uh, turd area out. Let me just put you on zoom. Yes, I don't know if you can see. See, there's sort of um, a silver... This silver, uh, this silver area in here. Well, it shouldn't be silver. Can I get a uh, zoomoid? Yay! There we go. Ah, oh, look. There you go. See that silver area here? Do, 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 do. Well, that shouldn't even exist. That is. Um, it's not a smooth surface. It's a torn surface. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to polish that out. Then this one. I'm just going to uh, spin this and touch these so we can take the damage off of there. Then I've got to find a slightly bigger O-ring going here. If I can do that, then I might be able to um, save this uh, regulator. Uh, at the moment, your gun... Let me just put you back on uh, normal vision. Uh, normal vision is restored! At the moment, see, your gun is fully working, but only with a normal um, regulator on and yes I do have to connect it to another gun thank you Brendan <laughs> I've had your guns apart it's nothing wrong with the guns it's your regulator <laughs> so I've just had to rebuild your die so this is absolutely working fine now it was very hot you had a hot gun you had been cranking the regulator past 300 feet per second why you're doing that I don't know um, 290s, 280s, man. Runs perfect. I'm just turning the eyes off. Absolutely no first shot drop. Um, the dwell is at about 16 at the moment because it's all standard components. And you have your feather touch screw in the gun. Now, again, I've run videos on dwell and the feather touch screw. And you're not watching them, not learning, not remembering. You're not taking it in. You know, if there's something I want to learn, and it's something I'm not too sure of, I go on YouTube and I watch as many videos on that single subject, whatever it be. And um, 
then I apply knowledge learnt from them to said item that has pro problem or something I want to develop. These, all this information is all on my channel in my films. Um, but this is absolutely running perfect now. I've had to replace the solenoid. Uh, I've had to mess around with the dwell. Uh, I've had to replace all your O-rings in here. What I've also noticed as well is that your bolt is pitted. You must remember that your bolt is a sealing surface. It's actually part of an actively sealing surface. There are O-rings that grab onto it. Your bolt, um, you may have had some grit or some dirt in there. It's impacted onto the anodized surface. So we've got grit and dirt. What happens? Turns into a piece of sandpaper, doesn't it? How can we seal against a piece of sandpaper? So I've given it a quick once over with Scotch Bright, and now it's okay. It's sealing up perfect. I can't stress enough, chaps. Clean your gun. Clean your weapons, right? Um, oh God, I don't want to go all over that. I don't want to sound like Mr. Moni, but it's it's just the most basic thing, man. Clean your weapon. Um, clean clean your paintball marker. Uh, I, bet, I know guys who clean their cars more than they clean their markers. I mean, partially, the industry is to blame because we're sitting there as technicians in a tent, babysitting you. What, what can you do? Um, I don't know. It would be horrible to get to the Olympics and suddenly realise that, you know, your skis have still got bleeding mountain goat poop on them from last season. Could you imagine that? I don't think that's going to happen. What do you think? I don't think. Anyway, Jesus man, did I moan? Did I bloody moan? Here he is going. Um, so with that aside, your gun's all running. I'm going to try and sort this out for you. Brandon! Brandon! Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. The meanie was absolutely fine, your regulator, and uh, that's such a bitch to rebuild these things, it was your regulator that was leaking, not the gun, how dare you suggest my guns leak, that is um, a little o-ring in this, in these uh, die rigs, that can be an absolute arsehole, and originally die didn't even put in a machined groove for the o-ring to sit in, I had to, oh, I, I, I had to chat with them when they were over at Croydon. I took one machine one and one unmachine one down there, and of course the seventeen-year-old on the counter, no idea. So that's perfect. So what I'm going to do with these now, I'm just going to give these a uh, service. And uh, I couldn't actually find anything wrong with this one, dude. Uh, I'm going to make you a little a new carbon piece to go in there. I can't leave that as it is like that. Yeah. I'll do that tomorrow in the workshop. I could just take this with me. And I'll, I'll do it while I'm there. Um, I'm going to plug this gun that works into another gun. <sighs> it all gets rather confusing. <laughs> just making sure I've still got battery power. It's the only thing about my camera, the batteries just last seconds. In fact, actually, let's put the silencer on. Oh, no, I do actually have a leak on this one. Okay, I'll sort that for you. It's just this hasn't. I haven't had a leak or anything out of this one this morning. So I didn't know out the two which one was leaking. So I gassed that and the reg was leaking. So of course I thought it was that one. Anyway, I'm going to get this sorted for you. My 10 minutes is nearly duly up. Uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Get this done today and I'm going to make a little carbon cover to go on there. Till next time, I'll see you later, lads. Tada! Ooh, where's the button?